Hello, welcome uh, this week's Inner Circle. Um, fair bit to go through, so let's just start off. Uh, we'll begin with currencies. Um, pretty quiet all round, uh, generally, uh, as you can see on the dollar index. Slight drifting lower. Um, what did happen through the week, though, is we consistently held um, the major short term support. So it attacked it uh, twice and held, um, but not a great deal going on. Um, still got that level at 97.19 above, and um, that monthly level below has been ignored a lot of the time, so um, only becomes a reference if it happens to be the high or low uh, of a day, pretty much to the tick, so not interested in it as a support at present. Um, we're in the Euro, and not surprisingly, as the dollar index has been quiet, so is that. So really just uh, three dojis, tri, tri star doji they call it. Um, you'd normally be more interested in it if it was at uh, an absolute high or an absolute low as opposed to the middle of the range. So we still have uh, half of our long position left. Um, the stop has risen though uh, to the uh, short term level. Move across to the pound. Again, lots of stories going on this week, uh, resignations, all sorts of uh, new things happening. Ultimately, <coughs> the market sort of liked that story on Tuesday, and, and again, has done very little since. Go to the yen. Similar story there, really. Uh, had a negative the week before that hasn't developed, um, and then not very much happening afterwards. It's not been the case on Aussie and Kiwi. Um, had a um, big expansion of range on Thursday, uh, a negative signal which got us um, interested. Um, it's come up with a positive on Friday, although it's only a minor one, and of course it's still below that monthly level. Across to Kiwi, um, that had a negative signal the day before. Um, at that monthly level, extended lower. Um, we didn't get involved in, in the Kiwi, um, mainly because really it's, it's in a big piece of sideways. Uh, doesn't send, and that range is getting narrower, so it's making higher lows and uh, lower highs. <coughs> so we remain a little bit trapped. Where we did get involved um, was in a cross rate. And the first thing we were looking at was uh, dollar CAD. Uh, had a negative the week before, and um, then uh, pretty uh, dollar CAD was pretty weak on Friday. Where we got involved was on the cross rate between the Aussie and the CAD. So effectively, we had a weak Aussie and a strong CAD. So that makes it um, the ultimate cross to trade, um, as there was quite a few signals on the Aussie. Um, was very weak on Thursday. We had the second sell as a continuation. Um, the bounce that occurred on Friday went directly to the breakout point to the tick and failed at that 94.27 point. And we closed near the lows of the day. So it's in breakdown mode. Uh, the ultimate target is 91.58. Right, let's move on to commodities and We'll start off with precious. 